Hey, today I want to show you a demo of how Terminal, this company that makes this cool e-ink display, is using Terminal Wire to ship a command line interface SDK to their customers. So what Terminal is trying to do with their SDK is make it possible so that uh, people who are using these can build their own custom visualizations. And to do that, they want to have a command line interface so that people can get their API keys, push plugins, and do pretty much everything you need to do to get your visualization running on Terminal. All right, so let's show you how that's going to work on a fresh Ubuntu installation. Now we don't have the terminal command yet, and we need to install it. So how do we install it? Well, terminal wire gives you these URLs. And in this case, we have trmnl.terminalwire.sh. So we're going to Pipe this script into bash, and that will run the installation for this. Now this snippet is something that would be provided for you by Terminal Wire. So your users would just have to copy and paste this into their console, just as you see it here, and then hit enter. <clears throat> and what's happening is we're downloading the Linux ARM distribution of Terminal Wire. Uh, we're extracting it, we're setting up these paths, and then we need to source this. And now if you run the terminal command, we should see that it is now available on this Ubuntu uh, workstation. Now what's interesting is terminal did not actually have to ship a binary to their customers. Uh, it's actually using the terminal wire runtime, which is all managed uh, by terminal wire. So uh, to show you that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like whenever we check out their binary. So when we run the terminal binary, we can see in the shebang, it's calling terminal wire exec and it's passing at this URL. This URL is where they have their uh, terminal wire server deployed. So the terminal wire exec runtime connects to the server and then it streams all this IO that you see. Uh, and so that's kind of the gist of it. So they're not really managing anything. If they want to deploy updates, uh, it's just like deploying a web application to this URL and they would see the, the new commands. Uh, terminal wire would not need to update the client since it's all streamed from the server. All right, so if you want to start using terminal wire in your application as terminal did, go to the website terminalwire.com and then click on manuals. And if you go down to Ruby on Rails, you can click that and there's pretty much everything here that you need uh, to get started for using terminal wire, um, starting with a new Rails app. If you already have an existing Rails app, you can just add the gem um, and then kind of run everything. And you'll see all the stuff that you can do here uh, with Terminal Wire. So standard IO is kind of what you would expect. You can put things, you can read things, everything you'd expect from a console. Uh, you can even use Thor uh, in this thing as most uh, Terminal Wire customers are doing. Finally, once you have your application built, you get a license and then you distribute the app. Uh, and whenever you set up an app distribution, you'll get one of those curl URLs uh, that you can give to your customers to install it. Again, all that's managed by Terminal Wire. All you have to do is install the Terminal Wire server on uh, your web application server um, and then set up a distribution on Terminal Wire. And then you'll have people, uh, you'll give people that uh, URL that they can curl into their terminal and install your application. And that's it.